So here's the jungle. I was invited to a wedding in Israel. The problem is, do we drag all three of our young kids along for a short four-day trip to the Holy Land, or do we just go, the two of us? Well, my husband and I decided at the end of the day it would be wiser just to go as a couple. And I'm so glad that we went, because not only did we get some rare alone time, but we got to celebrate two beautiful love stories. Not just the young newlyweds, but the bride's grandparents' love story, too. Masha and Avraham Greenbaum. But this young man must have been like 25, 26. <laughs> he came to the camp to really, uh, he was in uniform, of course, he was an officer and he came into the camp and tried to see what he can help the people. And a whole group came to him and said they wanted to go to Palestine. They saved us for two reasons, really to shame us, but the more important reason, I think, was when people started dying, they had a lot of lice. Mm. And so uh, people got sick and they got typhus. I didn't feel the fact that she was a survivor made any difference as far as my feelings towards her were concerned. They weren't feelings towards a survivor, they were feelings to a young lady that I, I felt very much in love with and wanted to, to spend my, the rest of my life with her. Masha still lectures at the Holocaust Museum at Yad Vashem in Israel. She says, as she likes to say, it's a sacred duty to bear witness. When you first arrived at Bergen-Belsen at the concentration camp, what did you see? We saw a open pits and the pits had bodies and some of the people in the pits were not dead yet and the pits were moving. This is what we saw in Bergen-Belsen as we came in and of course we were frightened. Bergen-Belsen was really a camp too for people to die or be dead or be killed. And so tell me about uh, the one day when the tank arrived, what did you see? The British tank rolled in into the camp. We didn't recognize his uniform, but this young man must have been like 25, 26. He looked at us, he looked at the open pits, and he started to cry. What was your impression when you first entered the camps? My impression was people trying to get back to normality as quickly as possible. And they would ask two questions of people just at random and the questions were number one where do you want to go if you're allowed to leave uh, Bergen-Belsen and almost everybody said they want to go to Palestine almost mm. everybody. not everybody but almost everybody and what I can't forget is a young boy he must have been 15 or 16 years old they asked this boy and he's asked first time the answer to his first question was that he would like to go to Palestine and then they said, so ask him if he can't go to Palestine, where would he want us to send him? And the boy answered, send me back to Auschwitz. Wow. Now, what did your friends tell you about marrying an Englishman? Well, they thought it's, uh, it's not a good idea to marry <laughs> an Englishman. They saw the English are very cold people. <laughs> and I thought it's different and I proved them wrong. I think the biggest lesson that Masha and Avraham Greenbaum can teach any of us, after 63 years of marriage, three children, 11 grandchildren, is that every day is a blessing. <laughs>